So this is in response to Melissa's video about how her iPhone got wet and she put it into some rice and that cured it. I had a similar, well, I didn't have a similar problem with my iPhone. I don't know what I'm talking about. I had a problem with my iPhone. Um, the headphones, it kept saying the headphones were in when they weren't, which means that I couldn't get sound out playing loud. Um, I just have to have speakerphone on if I wanted to do a phone call, which is frustrating if you're in a public space and you can't go on your phone. So um, that got quite annoying. Um, and it was doing it just a frequently, and then eventually it just became a constant thing. Like, it was always saying the headphones plugged in when I barely ever used the headphones. And I looked on the Apple Care forum things, and it said, like, if you plug it, your headphones in, and take them out a few times, you should clear it up. So I didn't, so I took it to the Apple store in Birmingham, and they uh, cleaned it. I don't know what they cleaned it with, because they took it off backstage, or whatever. And I uh, didn't see what happened, but then it worked. Uh, I need to turn off TweetDeck. I'm so bad. Okay. Um, so, they took it, and then it worked for about half an hour after I left the store, at which point it started doing it again, um, only occasionally. So then I let a few weeks go by because I had work story, I didn't really have time to go back to the Apple store. And then um, it broke again, it went constant again, it was very strange. So I took it to the Apple store in Manchester this time, because I was back up north, and then they looked at it and they cleaned it again and they said let's see if it works and I just thought if it works now I'm not going to leave because this has happened before. Luckily that didn't work so then they restored it to see if that would work and I again thought please don't work <laughs> because I'm going to get frustrated if I have to come back again uh, and it didn't work so then they gave me a brand new iPhone so this is like only a few weeks old um, which was awesome because it means any scratches any marks are gone the buttons are like new and fresh and feel like they like they proper press and also like it had like around here it had like a little mark thing which is kind of like it looked like oil on water so it was underneath the screen and i think it's because it's where my twitter application is so that like i'm always pressing there um and now that's gone because they gave me a new iphone so that was cool um so yeah i'm just saying if you know your iphone breaks just take it to the apple store and they'll probably give you a new one if they can't fix it uh, which was cool uh, apart from that all i did today was finish um the screw tape letters which was a good book. I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. I don't think I completely got it. I liked the concept of that, uh, you know, um, you know, I've read books that are based on religion before and they haven't really done anything for me because uh, it's kind of been like handing all the answers on a plate or uh, instructing you. But I liked this a bit before because obviously the protagonist, um, you know, you're not supposed to trust him and take anything on. You're not supposed to love him. You're supposed to sort of get yourself that whatever he says, you need to do the opposite. And I like how it doesn't explicitly say that um, so that was good, but I didn't really feel the narrative that well, I didn't really feel the emotion. Um, but I liked the concept of it. Also, this has a um, uh, screw tape proposal as toast at the end, which is a sequel that uh, C.S. Lewis wrote. Uh, and he says in the preface to that, or the preface even, um, that he least he's never least enjoyed writing a book as he did with screw tape letters, even though it came very really easily, he really didn't enjoy it. And maybe that's why I just didn't connect with it, because maybe his whole happiness wasn't in the book. Not that happiness has to be in a book, maybe hurt has to be in a book, but I don't know. Now moving on to Seer Quest, the last uh, quest book that I own, so I'm excited to finally be caught up and then get Hunt Quest off Lisa in Boston. That's all for today. Thank you if you left comments about what I should do. Uh, I am going to hold them back for future video ideas when I have nothing to talk about, but as I did today, I thought I'd stick with that, and this is going long, so I'm going to stop now. Thank you, I'll see you tomorrow, bye. Oh wait, no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing tonight. I'm going out tonight for my housemate's birthday. So um, that should be fun and tomorrow, hopefully I won't be too hungover to do a video. Bye.